Welcome back for another tutorial here at the Angry Easel. Today we're gonna paint one of our favorite llamas. So we're gonna continue to use our red, blue, and yellow primary colors, as well as some black and white. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is paint our whole canvas white. The reason that we do this is when we put another color on top of it, we get a really nice pastel color. So in this example, we have sky blue. Okay, you can do it with red or yellow or even black and you get a nice gray color. Okay, so you wanna take your brush and some white and you're gonna paint your whole canvas with that white color. Okay, don't forget, do the top and the sides of your canvas as well. When you're painting your background, you can go up and down or you can go side to side. Right now it doesn't matter. We're just getting the white on the canvas first. So you wanna paint all the way down to the bottom. Once you get all the white on there, you don't need to wash your brush out and you can just grab another color. I'm gonna use blue so I get a nice sky blue color. You wanna take that and you wanna start working it in to that white paint. Okay. So work it in there, keep grabbing some blue. My paint at the top is a little bit dry so I'm gonna grab a little bit more white and go in there. Okay, don't forget to do the sides again and the very top. Get the sides. and work your way all the way down to the bottom. Okay, you can work it all the way in so that it's completely just one color of sky blue or you can leave it a little bit streaky if you'd like. I kind of like that feature, so I'm going to leave my streaks in there. Okay. Like I said, you can do this with any color you'd like. If you want, you could mix a green color, so mix some blue and yellow and put it on top of the white. And you get a nice pastel green, or you could do it with yellow. You could even do it with black and you get a nice gray color, okay? So once you have your background finished, we need to let it dry. Um, it should take about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Um, so we'll see you then. Don't forget to wash and dry your brush out so it's ready for us when we start the llama. The next thing we're gonna do is paint our llama, okay? So we're gonna use our nice, clean, and dry big brush. We're gonna take some white, and we're going to make a long, kind of rectangle shape with a rounded top, okay? You don't wanna go too far to the top because you wanna leave room for his ears. Okay? So you can kind of shape him how you want him to look. If you want him to be a little bit wider, you can. And then you want to fill it in. OK, 
okay? You'll start to see some of that blue coming through, but that's okay. We're gonna go back over our llama and add some texture to him. So you just wanna get the base on here, okay? Now you wanna add some ears. So you're just making triangle shapes at the top of his head. You wanna fill those in. All right, then you're gonna make a little bit of a gray color. So a little bit of black goes a long way. So you just wanna take a little bit of black. And at this point, you can switch to a smaller brush. We're gonna make his snout or his nose. Okay, so we're gonna take some gray and we're going to make kind of a long circle there. Okay, mine's still turning blue, but that's okay. We'll do another layer. Oops. All right, if you're having a lot of blue come over or come through your paint, you want to um, let it dry for a little bit before you start a new layer. Now what we're going to do is add some texture and some more white to our llama. So with a brush, you can use a big brush or a smaller brush, or you can change them in and out and see what you like. You wanna take some white, and you're just gonna do a dabbing motion. And see, that gets some more paint on there, and then it'll dry with some neat texture, okay? So you want to keep grabbing some white and dabbing on your llama. Okay, you want to do this all the way around, even on his ears. Okay. So like I said, you can use a bigger brush or a smaller brush or try a couple different ones out. Um, if you're working with a bigger brush, you want to be careful with your ears or you can switch to a smaller one just for the ears. Cover that whole llama. Careful around your nose. Don't want to cover it up unless he's really fluffy, <laughs> which is okay too. You want to get them all dabbed then you want to wash your brush out and dry it really good then we're gonna to switch to our smaller brush if you're still working on the dabbing you can pause the video and finish that up okay now with our smaller brush and some red and white we're gonna make a pink color You're gonna need more white than you are red, unless you want a darker pink. Okay, then you wanna add some pink to his ears. So you're gonna make tiny triangles inside of his ears. And then you want to add something in his nose. 
In this one, I have a heart in there. So you can do a heart or a circle, whatever you'd like to do. And you may want to go over your pink another time once it's a little bit dry and then you can, you'll get a brighter color. Right now it's kind of just blending in with the white. Okay, you want to wash your brush out again. And then we're going to let his all his fur dry before we add any of the flowers or his eyes. Okay? So if you missed any spots in here, you can kind of do some more touch-ups. Whoops, got a little bit of black in there. Okay, do some touch-ups and then let them dry. Once your llama is getting dry, we want to add some finishing details like some flowers and his eyes and his mouth. So we're going to start with the flowers and you want to use a smaller brush and what you want to do is start with some yellow and we're going to make a couple yellow flowers and these flowers are really easy you're going to grab some paint okay and then you're going to start by making a dot kind of in the middle like that and you're going to push down and swirl out okay so I'm going to do another flower over here, push down, swirl out, okay? Now I'm going to add a little bit of red to the yellow that's on my brush and mix a little bit more yellow and I'm going to get an orange color. I'm going to do that same technique. Okay, dot in the middle, push and swirl out. Okay, I'm going to do another orange one right here. Okay. I'm going to rinse my brush out just because I have a lot of paint in there. Dry it really quick and I'm going to do the same thing with some red in my spots there that I'm missing. Okay, do some red. So my white wasn't completely dry in there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to that. All right, go ahead and wash out your brush after that. We're gonna make a little bit of green, just to add some leaves. So to get green, we're going to mix some yellow and blue together. Okay, there's a lot of fun greens that you can make with yellow and blue. So find a shade of green that you like for your leaves. You're just gonna add a few leaves here and there. So you can make lines or kind of like rounded lines for some leaves. Then you want to rinse your brush out again, dry it off, and the last thing we're going to add are his eyes and a mouth. So with the eyes you can make um, some sleepy eyes like this, or you can give him even some eyelashes, looks cute too, or you can make round eyes. Okay, I'm going to make this one sleeping again, so I'm going to make some eyelid outlines, okay, by just making a smiley face, okay, and another one over here, okay, 
I'm gonna add some eyelashes too. So just adding a few little lines to the outside edge. All right, now I'm gonna give her a smiley face. Okay, so now she's peacefully sleeping. Okay, the very last thing you wanna do is paint the bottom so you can flip your canvas over. Again, if you're painting on your table, make sure you have something down so you're not getting paint all over. Okay, and you can paint the whole thing white, just like we did the background before. Okay, and then add just a little bit of blue. Except I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm gonna leave the white where his body is and just paint blue there. Okay, and let him dry and then you can hang him on your wall. So thanks for watching another painting video with us and there's more to come.